Good luck. The odds are that everybody in this room at some point in their life will be affected by cancer, whether it's themselves personally or a loved one. When we think of cancer chemotherapy, one of the first things that comes to mind are the horrible side effects. These are a result of a lack of selectivity for the tumor cells over healthy cells in the body. One way of improving the selectivity of cancer drugs is to administer them in an inactive form and selectively activate them in the tumor. And this is what my work focuses on. I've been researching a class of light-sensitive compounds called azobenzenes. These molecules can sit in two conformations, either a bent one or a linear one, and you can switch between these two forms using specific wavelengths of light. I've incorporated these azobenzene molecules into a known inhibitor of an enzyme that's overexpressed in several cancers. My modified inhibitor consists of a binding group that interacts with the active site of the enzyme, an azobenzene, and a cap group. This is shown on the slide behind me. The active site of the enzyme that I've been studying sits at the base of a narrow channel. So if you have the inhibitor in its bent form, it can't access the channel due to clashes between the cap group and amino acids lining the channel. Whereas if you switch to the linear form of the inhibitor, it can now sit inside the channel and inhibit the enzyme. So if you were to administer this inhibitor as a drug to a patient in its inactive form, which is the bent one, it would distribute around the body and into the tumor, but will have no harmful effects as it cannot inhibit the enzyme. By specifically irradiating the tumor with the correct wavelength of light, you can switch to the active linear conformation, which can now inhibit the enzyme and destroy the tumor cells. Elsewhere in the body, the drug remains in its inactive form until it's metabolized and excreted. I initially made three azobenzene-containing inhibitors with different size cap groups. Biological testing was carried out on these compounds, and all three were found to show good inhibition of the enzyme when in their linear form. Only one of the molecules, however, actually showed a difference in activity between its linear and its bent form, and that was the one with the largest cap group. Following on from these results, I've redesigned my inhibitors and altered their structure to include a range of much larger cap groups. Biological studies are being carried out, and we hope to see a much larger difference in activity between the linear and the bent form. Currently, the word chemotherapy conjures up imaging, images of debilitating side effects that have a serious impact on a patient's quality of life. By selectively targeting the tumor cells, we hope to, we hope to have a serious... We hope to... Sorry... By selectively targeting the tumor using light-activated drugs, we hope to seriously change this. 